Hello and I'm coming to you from Derby in the northeast of Tasmania once again. So you, if you're a long time follower of Ruby Tuesday Art on YouTube, you will have already seen a couple of videos that I've recorded on this weekend away. Um, and if not, I'm going to link them for you so that you know what I'm talking about. So far we've painted a lovely fern leaf and a loaf of sourdough bread inspired by some delicious bread that our accommodation host gave to us. Um, so yes, they're linked below if you're interested in painting bread or a slightly different fern leaf. But I, so what I did was actually I painted that initial fern leaf um, and I felt really inspired to keep painting and I came up with this design. So this is what we're going to be painting today. I'll move it aside so that I've got my paper ready to go. If you can hear any sounds, that's probably Will reading a book in the other room or the fire crackling or birds tweeting outside our cabin. So I've got a size four round brush today. I've got a size six round brush sitting here, but I don't think I'm going to use it. I've got some cold pressed watercolor paper. I've got a jar of water for my cool colors and for my warm colors. And I've also got my portable palette of paint here. So you'll see there's little sections where I've squirted watercolor paint into. And you can get plastic versions of these as well. Um, and you just mix your paints in the lid, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to get started. I've got a few different greens. So I've got a cool yellowish kind of green, which I'm activating or reactivating by adding some water to that because I actually mixed the colors yesterday. I've got a really lovely bluish green. So it's a really, really cool green. And another cool green that's just not quite as blue. So you might also hear some trucks or um, if you know anything about Derby, you'll know that it's a, a really, really, really popular place that is mostly known for its mountain bike trails. So you might also hear people pulling out with their um, vans and trucks from the street nearby, um, all loaded up full of mountain bikes. All right, so I've got my colors here ready to go. I'm going to get started. I'm going to just dab off any excess paint from my brush and grab my yellow cool um, my warm yellowish green so i'm just going to use the tip of the brush to begin with to paint a curve across the page it's sort of an s curve and i'm going to wash off my brush and working fairly quickly hopefully i'm going to be able to get some of this color bleeding into the leaves of the fern so i'm going to actually start at the bottom of the fern today and I'm going to use some little brush strokes, just little individual brush strokes, really close to each other. I'm getting smaller as I work my way out to create the fern leaf. So you'll see that I'm just dabbing these brush strokes next to one each, one each other, and one another and each other. I tend to, when I get excited or creative, like painting and stuff, I have trouble talking. So you can see that I'm focusing on the painting more so than my ability to speak. <laughs> so I'm using these individual brush strokes, working my way out, getting smaller as I go. You can also work your way in like this and working quite quickly, getting a messy effect is absolutely fine and is always encouraged. So I'm actually gonna add a little tip to these fern leaves and then I'll leave a gap and keep working on another slightly smaller leaf a little bit further up. And again, getting smaller as I go.
as we're working our way towards the tip of the fern, of course, our leaves are getting smaller and smaller and slightly closer together as well. And you'll see that I had to mix up some more green while I was painting. That's just because I ran out. <laughs> I didn't mix up quite enough. And so that means that my green has actually changed throughout the painting, which isn't even really a bad thing it's actually added even more variety to the painting which I really love so I do recommend trying to mix up as much or enough paint in advance before you start painting but if you make that mistake like me and I make that mistake all the time to be honest <laughs> it really doesn't matter if you just mix up something close enough then um, it actually looks really beautiful to have that variety with the different greens in your painting and so I've just popped one teeny tiny leaf on the tip of this fern, dabbing in a tiny bit more of my green as well to make it a little bit darker in the middle where the stem and the leaf meet. I'm just dabbing that in on a few of the other leaves that I can see are still wet and so I can use that wet on wet technique. If I was to dab this into a dry leaf then um, it would just sort of sit on top. So I'm just picking out leaves that I can see are still wet. I'm painting in a fairly warm room though so a lot of them have already dried and there we go we have a really beautiful lovely whimsical fern leaf and I'm really excited to see yours so if you give it a crack make sure you tag me on Instagram I'm at Ruby Tuesday Art and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have new tutorials just like this coming out each and every week.